What's going on guys, it's Vinny here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to replace a starter on a Ford E250 work fan slash work truck. This job should apply to many similar year model Ford E250s. I'll have the information down in the description as well as on the screen for the years that this job applies to. All right, so what we're gonna need for this job is gonna be an assortment of 3 8 extensions with a swivel. You're gonna need an eight millimeter wrench for the battery. I have two different sets of sockets. We have a 10 millimeter long and short and a 13 millimeter long and short, as well as our 3 8 ratchets and breaker bar. I do also have a 13 millimeter impact socket, which we may or may not use. You could have a quarter inch ratchet with an eight millimeter socket, as well as some extensions, a magnet pickup tool, and then optionally a quarter inch cordless ratchet. Other than that, you're gonna want some gloves, maybe a headlight, and some safety glasses. And optionally, we can also use an impact gun with a 3 8 drive. And since the truck's lifted up pretty high, we're just gonna use a mechanics creeper. Could also just get like a mat or a pad to lay on while we're under here. First step's gonna be to open the driver's side door. We're gonna go right down here and pop open the hood. Okay, first things first, we're gonna have to disconnect the battery. That's gonna require an eight millimeter wrench or socket. Uh, before you do this, it might be a good time to save all your radio stations and anything electronic that might get reset once we disconnect the battery. Okay, we want to remove both battery terminals. And you should be good to just leave the terminals like this. Just be careful that none of these terminals touch your AC line right here because it can cause a pinhole which will then leak. All right, now that we have the battery disconnected, we can come over on the passenger side and we're gonna go under the vehicle and I'll show you what we're looking at. All right, so we're gonna come under the passenger side front. And right here is our starter. So here is the passenger front wheel and we're laying under the vehicle. We're gonna look up from right here and this right here is your starter and this is what we're gonna be removing today. All right, first step's gonna be to get your long 13 millimeter socket and we're gonna take off this nut right here that has the black wire attached to it. Make sure you guys put these bolts to the side. And do not lose them. All right, the next step's gonna be to pop this cap off and that's holding this red wire in here. We're gonna take that off with a 13 millimeter socket. It may be a good idea to also take a picture of the orientation of these wires before removing them off the terminals. Okay, next we're gonna remove the red wire from the terminal. Okay, and then lastly, you're gonna have like this tan, maybe white wire with a green stripe on it. And we're just gonna get a 10 millimeter socket and take off this bolt right here to remove that. And then we'll slide that off the terminal. And now your starter should be free from the vehicle besides the mounting bolts, which we will now remove. I'm going to try my best to show you guys the mounting locations of the bolts for the starter. There's three of them. So there's one nut right there. It's a 13 millimeter. Around the left side up here, you'll see another 13 millimeter. And then all the way up there in the back is the hardest one to get. That's as well a 13 millimeter. So we're going to go ahead and try to start to get these out. So I'll remove the bottom one first because that's easy to get to. All right, guys, so once you get this bottom bolt out, this is a 13 millimeter. It's actually like a bolt slash stud, and that's what goes through the bottom of your starter. So this is gonna be the only one of its kind here. All right, so we're gonna go for the second 13 millimeter bolt. What I have is a 13 millimeter long socket with a shorter 3 8 extension. This extension, I would say, is about maybe two and a half inch or so. So we're gonna attach these and you can kind of feel it with your hand, the bolts right up here in the back. So we're gonna get the extension with the socket on first. Then you're gonna throw your ratchet in there and we'll break that loose. 
And just a tip, you can grab the extension and spin that to loosen your 13 millimeter nut. And then I would put my finger on the bolt like that when you're pulling it out so you don't lose it. So here is the other 13 millimeter mounting bolt. We have one more and that's gonna be the hardest one. It's up top. I'm probably not gonna be able to get the camera in there to show you guys, but I'll show you what the tools are that I use to get this bolt out. So I'm gonna first feel with my hand to see if I can feel where the bolt's at. And I feel it, it's all the way up back here. I'm just gonna try to get my socket onto there first. All right, so to reach that top 13 millimeter bolt, I have a long 13 millimeter socket with that two or two and a half inch extension then it looks like i got another stubby extension this is like a maybe a one inch and we're going to put all these together and just a tip you can put this directly on the top of your starter and slide it back and that's kind of where that last bolt sits so once it's in there you can see my socket sitting right up there on the top center of the starter once that's on i can attach my ratchet and we can break that bolt free All right, and then once you have it broken free, I would just suggest using your hands to twist your extension to then remove that bolt fully. Also might be a good idea to just keep another hand on the bottom of the starter. You'll feel it start to get loose and you just don't wanna drop this on your face. All right, and there you go. There is the last 13 millimeter bolt. So now we're gonna give this a little tap and a wiggle to get it completely loose and remove it from the vehicle. There you go. Here is your starter. We're gonna take these and go and compare them to the new one. All right guys, so we removed the starter. We're just gonna do a quick comparison side by side. I like to do this with everything that I've removed and replaced in the vehicle, just to double check. So here's of course our old starter, pretty standard. You can see your grounding strap cable gets pretty corroded and gross over time, which can cause a loose connection and then that could cause starting issues. And we're just gonna compare this over to the new one. This is brand new. You can get these at a few different places. Usually your local automotive parts store will carry them, but I will also have links in the description description and you just want to take a good look at the gears and everything make sure there's no teeth missing because then you might have bigger problems ahead of you and again there'll be links in the description for all the tools and parts used in this video all right so we're going to get our new starter and bring her under there just want to show you guys what everything looks like with the starter out. You can see the three bolt holes right there. And then that's actually the flywheel right there. And that's where your starter is going to spin to get the engine going. All right, now we're ready to install the new starter. So you're just going to want to pay attention to the orientation. You're going to look and it has three bolt holes. You're going to want these on the passenger side of the vehicle and match those up with the three bolt holes here. And what a good idea to do is to get your bottom bolt, which is the one that goes right down here. That's the one that looks like a stud with a nut on it. And you're gonna have that in your other hand as you put the starter in the vehicle. So once we put this in, you're gonna wanna get this bottom bolt in first to hold it in there. So I'm gonna put the starter in like that. I matched up my bottom bolt hole down here. And we're gonna put that stud in and try to get that started by hand, making sure that you keep pressure on the starter to keep that in, because it will fall back out. And once you get a couple turns on that, then you can grab your extension, your 13 millimeter socket with the extension and slide it over, and then just continue to turn that extension by hand, and that'll get the bolt all the way in there. Okay, and you just want to get it snugged by hand. You don't want to fully tighten it down until we have all three of the bolts in there. All right, we got our bottom bolt in. We're gonna do our second bolt. I'm gonna use the 13 millimeter socket with just the two inch extension. So just these two together, I'm gonna put the bolt in there and then I'm gonna hold it with my finger and kind of feed it into that hole right on the top. And I'm gonna feel the bolt go into the hole before I let it all go. Okay, so that went in. Now I can turn my extension, spin that to tighten the bolt in there. And if you don't feel like the bolt's starting for some reason, that's probably because the starter's sagging. So you're gonna have to wiggle the starter a little bit, maybe hold it flush into the engine while you tighten that bolt up to make sure it gets started. And you'll feel once it's started, because it'll start to get harder to turn. 
Again, just hand tight. Okay, now we're gonna install the last bolt. This is the third bolt. It's also a 13 millimeter. I'm gonna use the 13 millimeter socket with that two inch extension. And then I'm also gonna do like another little one inch extension onto that. I'm gonna put them all together like so, and then put my bolt in there. Again, I'm gonna hold the bolt as I feel for the hole and feed it in by hand. And this extension, you can basically sit it on the top center of your starter, and that'll get you pretty close to where that bolt hole is. And we're just gonna tighten that up by hand. All right, that feels pretty tight. Now you're just gonna get your 3 8 ratchet and we're gonna snug up all of these bolts. I'm gonna start by tightening the top bolt first. I'll put the torque specs down in the description as well as on the screen. All right, now we're gonna tighten the second bolt here. Just gonna snug that up. Okay, and then last but not least, we're gonna tighten our third and final bolt right on the bottom. Okay. And I just like to double check all the bolts, go around, check them all, make sure everything's good, and then we can reattach our wiring. All right, now that the starter is fully tightened onto the vehicle, we are going to reinstall the wires. So we're gonna start with this black wire at the bottom, put that onto this bottom terminal here, and then you're gonna take that black nut that you had taken off in the beginning, and we're gonna put that on. And this is a 13 millimeter nut. And since this is a black wire, you could assume this is probably a ground because it's grounding to the metal casing of the starter, as well as your engine. And now just watch how this wire is once you finally tighten that nut. You just want to make sure it doesn't twist too much. And we're just going to snug her up a little more than hand tight with the ratchet. All right, the next wire we're going to attach is the white with the green stripe. That's the small wire. We're going to slide that onto this silver terminal here. It's the smaller terminal. And that's going to take a 10 millimeter nut. So you can get that on. You can see this little metal tab's just going to go down the side here to prevent it from twisting. And then you're going to take your 10 millimeter millimeter socket and snug that up. You do not need to go too tight with this. And then the last wire we have to attach is your red power wire. And that's gonna go on this bottom copper terminal right here. So we're gonna take off the 13 millimeter nut as well as the washer. Pull that washer off. We can slide our positive terminal back on there. Put our washer in, 13 millimeter nut. And then I'm just gonna use the socket to tighten it. And we're just going to snug up that 13 millimeter. All right, and you do not want to tighten these too much because you can break your new starter. So once you have all these wires attached, you have your negative down here, positive up here, and this white with a green stripe wire right on the small terminal. Then you can go ahead and put your rubber cap back over the positive. That's just like a cover to make sure it doesn't get all wet. And we're done at the bottom of the vehicle. We can go back up top and reconnect our battery. All right, so we're back up top. We're just going to reconnect our negative and positive terminals so I'm going to be using the eight millimeter wrench snug that up get our cover back in there put our negative back on all right all right, we got everything hooked back up on the battery. I have attached a little mini jump starter because this car has been sitting for a little while. So we're gonna go ahead and try to start her up for the first time and see how she goes. All right, moment of truth. Boom, and she runs. Very nice. All right guys, and that's about it. That's how you install a starter on a 2008 to 2012 Ford E250. This video helped you guys out please leave me a like if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments i will get back to you and if you're looking for more of this kind of content then hit that subscribe button because there'll be plenty more coming your way and i just want to give a big shout out to angelo he owns chambers color coding it's a painting company they do interior and exterior painting does a fabulous job always doing quality work so if you guys are in south jersey anywhere in the area give them a call 856-258-0533 and he'll take good care of you so yeah shout out to angelo for letting me borrow his truck for a video thanks for sticking through guys and i'll see you in the next one have a good one